European Union leaders have given Brexit the cold shoulder as they pour resources into the bloc's fight against the coronavirus. The global pandemic has left trade negotiations in a zombie-like state with political leaders and their teams of officials focused more on the consequences of the outbreak, according to EU sources. Brussels negotiator Michel Barnier has returned to work ahead of talks with Boris Johnson's top Europe advisor, David Frost, this afternoon. The pair are expected to hammer out a timetable to allow the reopening of formal trade talks via video link after previous face-to-face -face rounds were abandoned amid fears traveling officials would be at risk of becoming infected with COVID-19. But the distraction of the coronavirus crisis will continue to hinder future attempts to conclude a trade deal before the end of the transition period on December 31st. One EU source said, for the moment it is one week at a time and too early to start. On whether remote negotiations could prove successful, they added, anybody that is working on Brexit right now, that question is above their pay grade. Why bother with questions that are too big to tackle right now, they'll be dealt with at a suitable time. The European Commission yesterday said it would be willing to negotiate an extension to the post-Brexit transition because of the coronavirus outbreak. The withdrawal agreement provides the possibility to extend the transition period Y up to one to two years. We have always said that we are ready to discuss such an extension, a spokesman said. Downing Street continues to insist that the deadline will not be extended beyond the end of the year and is enshrined in law. At Tuesday's daily coronavirus press conference, Chancellor Rishi Sunak said he was confident that trade talks would conclude a he said, we remain committed to the timeline that we set out to conclude those talks by the end of this year. Under the EU withdrawal agreement, any extension request must be made by July, and would see Britain remain following the bloc's rulebook. However Brussels expects the UK to eventually to request a delay, which would trigger a negotiation over the payment for continued access to the single market and customs union. But sources are adamant that the bloc is ready to continue with negotiations based on Mr Johnson's timetable, insisting the deadline is the only certainty we have in these negotiations. EU diplomats have ruled out any pay-as-you-go extension that would allow Britain to prolong the transition on a monthly basis while trade talks are still ongoing. A senior source said, this is a ridiculous idea. It is against the withdrawal agreement and undermines legal certainty, it also makes it unpredictable for business. Member states were last week informed no formal negotiations had taken place on the possibility of extending the transition period. Mr. Frost is expected to table draft legal texts on energy and justice and home affairs cooperation ahead of the next round of talks. Brussels has spent the last three weeks seeking clarifications on a draft free trade agreement, with chapters on nuclear and aviation cooperation. European capitals have warned the British negotiators that he risks scuppering the talks if the documents are not shared beyond the Commission. Brexit negotiations were fraught with rows over various demands made by EU leaders. And now EU leaders continue to demand access to the UK's fishing waters and a level playing field. <laughs>